This is Eagle Al, and today I want to talk about Nicobe Dean is primed, according to the NFL article, is primed to break out this season. But let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up? It's Moro Ojmo. Shout out to Eagle Al, the biggest Eagles fan out there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so Nicobe Dean, it was an article written by believe his name is Bucky Brooks and he works for the NFL so what the NFL do during like training camp things like that they come out with like an article uh, who's projected to have a breakout year it's usually guys going into their second third season sometimes even fourth season and we had a guy listed and this guy name is Nicobe Dean Nicobe Dean was listed on this list because the departure of Kaiser White and the departure of TJ Edwards, he's just primed to have a breakout year. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the article right here, and this is what it said Nicobe Dean, Philadelphia Eagles, age 22. Right, the Eagles' new green dot defender could make the mark immediately as a first time starter, and I couldn't agree more. The second year pro was regarded as a high IQ defender with excellent communication and playmaking skills at Georgia, but the league did not get a real chance to see him in action last season. We already know why. All right. As he served in the apprenticeship, meaning, you know, he is apprentice. He's just learning. Okay. Um, behind right around linebacker Kazir White and tj edwards after the free agents departure of white and edwards dean has his own sink signal calling duties can't read sorry the undersized linebacker will get a chance to show out a tackling machine but playing behind a monstrous uh group of defensive tackles including fellow georgia products jordan davis and jalen carter that will allow him to you know flow freely for the ball which i agree with the the defensive line sets the tone sets the tone for the linebackers corners and even safety so having those big guys and we know nicobe dean is undersized he he can flow better he can fit through the gaps if we needed him to rush the uh passer the quarterback we already know how good of how good he is getting to sideline to sideline we know how he is like in the passing game my my only question is about Nicobe Dean is the undersized and can he stay healthy the whole season um, that's my really only question he like they say here he's a high IQ player he's going to bring his all but this is the NFL man this is the NFL it's a different game so I hope Nicobe Dean could bring it because um what's not mentioned in this article is that if Nicobe Dean can't really stay healthy we're relying on Nicholas Murrow and whoever else. Like if Nicobe Dean got to miss a game or two, whatever, the the backup linebacker, it it's not looking, you know, it's not looking too good. We're very, very, very thin. So the way it's set up is is definitely set up for Nicobe Dean just to have that type of year, man. That that Ami put the league on notice that. You're going to notice me as a top 10 linebacker. And speaking of top 10 linebackers, right? Shout out my guy, TJ Edwards. I always knew he was just the next guy up. I thought we should have played them a bit earlier when we had the Nate Garys and all that. TJ Edwards getting so much love since he's not in Philadelphia. Yo, I've been saying TJ Edwards is a dog. He should be in that top 15, especially last year. They're like, nah, he ain't it. But he goes to Chicago. All of a sudden, he's top 10. He's this dynamic linebacker. I just get to the point. I'm, yes, I'm going on a tangent. I'm getting to a point where people really hate Philadelphia. He should have been mentioned with those guys last year. Those top 10 linebackers, he should have been mentioned with those guys. Definitely during the season. And now he getting all the love, right? Now they saying the Eagles look crazy for letting him go. I'm telling you, man, T.J. Edwards is going to do his thing in Chicago and the Kobe Dean is going to do his thing in Philadelphia. I think the Eagles made the right move as far as 
moving on from those two and just letting the Kobe Dean be that guy. Let him take over. He got the chemistry with the guys in Georgia, especially the defensive line. This is his second year, so he know the players that are already here. So look, man, the Kobe Dean is going to take the lead by storm, and I agree with the NFL adding him to this breakout season list. I totally agree. The only thing, my only question is, can he stay healthy? Can he stay healthy? I know he's going to bring it. I I know he's not going to miss tackles. He arm tackled Derrick Henry, so he hit hard. Question is, can he stay healthy? And just oh, damn near play every down because he's barely going to get off the field. He's not on the defensive line, unfortunately. He's going to be on the field a lot. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about this article, N'Kobe Dean having that breakout season? I totally agree with this. And um, I know you guys be wanting me to slow down on the videos. I'm never slowing down, man. Video after video after video is going to come out. I'm not letting my foot off the gas, man. I'm definitely not. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm going to...